Hi everyone, welcome back to my garden. If you're new here, my name is Dora and I love succulents and cacti. And I wanted to go ahead and record this video for everyone who has been asking about succulents. And a lot of people are disheartened because they die. And sometimes it is overwatering, and sometimes it is because they're left out in the hot sun. Sometimes they freeze to death. But the main reason that your succulents die, even if you're doing all the right things, is because they are not forever. They go through a transition, they throw off pups, they have babies, and hopefully they live on through their uh, babies that they have. But the mama succulents usually only last a few years if you're lucky um, the succulents that i have found that have lived on are maybe aloes and um, some like jades those are very um, very prolific they reproduce and then they do well as older plants but as you see here i've had so many when i started my succulent garden I had tons of little pots with all kinds of specimens and that's great. This is how you start a succulent garden. You get to enjoy them and many I still have like this pine cone cactus. It, um, it went through a transition. I still have a little bit, uh, some pieces of this pine cone cactus and they are trying to thrive. but. It grows so slow, but many of the other ones, especially the Echeverias, they are temporary. Please do not be disheartened if they don't last forever because they do become elongated and they get mealybug and they just, to me, what I've learned is that you have to enjoy them while you have them. Take plenty of pictures so that you have them um, to remember them and just enjoy them. Think of them as a bouquet of flowers that's gonna last way more. So still, I prefer to receive uh, a pot full of succulents than some beautiful flowers that will die in a week. So as you see here, they do flower, these beautiful, gorgeous flowers. And um, they go through many changes. It's, these Echeverias are beautiful, this curly Echeveria, but it, it dies. It only lasts for a couple of years. Even cacti, they get um, scale if they're not taken care of. And these little cacti that they sell, they, they rarely last forever. Um, you have to really learn how to take care of them. And um, I've found that these Myrtillo cacti are very resilient. I love them. They're ones, one type of cactus that I have in my garden. This beautiful blue one is still going, but it hasn't grown much because I have it in a pot. This beautiful crazy bunny ears. My daughter has it in her garden in the ground and it is thriving. These um, euphorbias I find to be way more resilient than these chicks and hens. These chicks and hens, they, they tend to die out. I still have um, my devil's tongue cactus and it's doing great. Um, these uh, Apuntias, as you know, they grew so much and uh, they went through so many transitions and unfortunately, I'm going to have to restart them this year. This um, Agave Perii is the mama and she's doing great and her babies, even though she went through an ordeal that last year. This is a beautiful, beautiful cacti that is actually cresting for me. And this euphorbia, it, it passed away. I should have put it in the ground. I put it in a pot. Here's a rainbow hedgehog cactus that I really wanted to thrive, but it ended up dying. And my sticks on fire, beautiful, awesome euphorbias that thrive in my garden. Oh my goodness, look at this string of pearls. I cannot believe that at one point it was like this, but it ended dying. 
actually my daughter was able to keep some of this alive because I did split it and give her half, which is great. And that's a tip. You can always split your plants and kind of either gift them or, or, or uh, put them in another area and they might survive. And that way the specimen doesn't completely die out. This gorgeous crassula uh, died. It's died. I have one now, but it's newer. These um, gutter planters were a fail because of the sun. It was just too hot in uh, my zone for this type of planter. Look at these uh, beautiful crests. I can't believe I had this one, but it did end up dying. But again, I get so much enjoyment from looking at the pictures and just remembering all the plants that I did get to experience. And yeah, it's very sad and you will learn what works in your garden. Remember, I still have these Agavoidas. Some of them died, some of them I still have. You will learn again from, from all these plants that will do well like this. Um, String of Bananas does great in my garden. And again, the garden evolves. Here we are putting the stones in. Beautiful, beautiful echeverias that really, again, the, I had some that lasted the Esmeralda and the Belen lasted for like three years. Last year was their last year and I just love them to get, I mean, they just did great. And again, um, they left some babies, but some of these succulents are not uh, prolific, uh, you know, as far as reproducing. Um, there you had just seen uh, another Echeveria that is gone. It only lasted a couple of years. I believe that's the Cielo. These more kitschy cacti too. You need to keep them inside if you want them to do well. Those, those little specialty uh, cacti, you need to really look after them. If you put them outside, they don't thrive that much unless... You have them in a covered area and you really control the sun that they get. This is when I first put all my succulent pots in the ground. Not all of them, but most of them. And I had just started this strip of succulents and I, it was just so gorgeous, so beautiful. And a lot of those have come and gone. But again, I um, have been able to know what works in this area and right now i'm down to sticks on fire and aloes and coral aloes and um, some agaves and i do have my sahara echeverias that are the ones that are tough for some reason these blue chalk sticks they were beautiful in the garden but they tended to get millibug Beautiful, beautiful, um, fantastica um, paddle plant. And um, that one again, I still have it in my raised bed. Here is the um, other um, crested plants that I used to have, the Gibby Floras. And uh, those lasted several years and again, they, they ended up dying. Beautiful, beautiful um, plants. And here I am enjoying my sun hat um, and my garden. And uh, this is just gorgeous, gorgeous. I still have some of these chocolate fingers. They're very resilient. And look at the beautiful little flowers that they give off. This is the agave mama. And look, when I first put her into this pot, she was doing great, but if you saw my past videos, she got ants in there, and I had to move her back to the ground. These beautiful little aloes, they're still around. I have them either in pots or in the ground. And as you know, my bird bath goes through, through transitions. I plant several um, things in there. It is a very shallow space. And um, oh, here are my apuntias when they were just barely growing. Again, this is my beginning garden, and I used to have a lot of these plants like this Cameronia in pots. 
this um, alligator sawtooth aloes. They're just gorgeous, and I still have plenty of those. Those are very resilient. Beautiful crest that I no longer have. Gorgeous little T-Rex aloes. And I've gone through several um, of these beautiful plants, but uh, here we have some uh, seeds that I planted and I, uh, I've gone through the whole vegetable garden situation and um, I've been very successful. The first year was very successful. Second year, a lot of insects and I wasn't happy with that. I still have this beautiful, beautiful um, hydrangea growing for me. I was able to keep it in a pot. And here you're seeing the sticks on fire, which I will be cutting this year because it's just so big. Ah, gorgeous. Uh, Rita Apuntias, they're thriving in a pot. And um, I don't know how they're going to be doing because it's been raining for two weeks. I will do a follow-up video to see how everything did. But here in Southern California, we've had so much rain. It's just ridiculous. We've never, we never have that much rain. So it, it'll be interesting to see how everything did because everything is soaked. I've had lavender, which I kill every year. And here's another little section that I've had the little cacti. I've had these um, awesome um, Sansevierias. Here's when I, when I was covering this area. But, you know, as I've always said, our garden evolves. I found out what works, what doesn't work. And what I really want is a garden that is doesn't require so much maintenance. It just drives me nuts to have to cover stuff up and move stuff out of the way and I understand sometimes you have to because if not this happens but I'd rather go with plants that work um, and here you're seeing a picture of how it evolves from season to season beautiful Cameronias they're still around I still have like three of them they're not that color because they're not that stressed but now after the water we'll see how they do beautiful coral aloe and she has given me so many babies. This is what it looks like this year, 2021. And I just love my garden. It's just doing so great with the plants that I have. And there you're seeing those Echeverias, those Saharas, that are the ones that are so resilient. And the Mercillo cactus. And my beautiful Thanksgiving cactus, with, which actually bloomed in Christmas and in the last video I explained uh, about identifying this type of um, plant because there was a Christmas cactus and the Thanksgiving cactus and uh, yeah the classification is easily um, distinguished by the leaves here's the beautiful starry night and my fountain needs a cleaning the coral aloe babies are doing great. They're going to be going in the ground this spring. And yeah, just um, everything is looking great. So all right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. And it's just a look back at everything that worked and didn't work. And um, I mean, there was many, many more plants that came and went in my garden. And if you follow my channel, um, you can take a look at that and see how it, it, it has evolved through the years. My garden is about five years old already, so there's plenty of gardens that I have posted. So make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. I really appreciate all the new subscribers, and I welcome all your comments. Again, thank you so much for watching. I wish you a fantastic holiday season and a prosperous 2022. All right, everyone. I will talk to you guys later.